Hello friends, my name is Catherine and welcome to Storytime. Let's start with our welcome song. been raining out but it's that nice spring rain and things are starting to grow. I've noticed little white buds at the tips of tree branches lately. Well let's sing another song about what to do when you go out in the rain. book of the day also about somebody who goes out in the rain and this one's called on a magical do nothing day by Beatrice Alemania here we were again me and mom in the same cabin the same forest the same rain dad back in the city Mom sat at her desk, quietly writing while I destroyed Martians. Actually, I was just pressing the same button over and over. I wish Dad were here. What about a break from your game? Mom growled. Is this going to be another day of doing nothing? She was right. There's nothing I wanted to do except destroy Martians. She took the game out of my hands and hid it as usual. I found it, as usual, and went outside. Where it felt like everything in our garden was hiding from the rain. I held my game tightly. Maybe it would protect me from this boring, wet place. I walked down the hill. At the bottom of our path, I saw some flat rocks in the pond. The rocks were round, like the heads of the Martians. I wanted to jump on them and crush them. Oh no! What did I do? My game fell in the pond! This could not be happening to me! I stuck my hand into the water to grab it. It was so icy cold, I screamed. Without my game, I had nothing to do. The rain felt like rocks were hitting me. I was a small tree trapped outside in a hurricane. Just then, there were four lights and four huge snails appeared. Is there anything to do around here? I asked them. Yes, indeed, they told me. I reached out and touched their antenna, as soft as jello. It made me smile. So I followed them down a path and found dozens of mushrooms. The air was so damp. I knew the smell from when I was small, my grandparents' basement, my cave of treasures. I felt a sense that there was something special close by, that I was surrounded. I bent down and dug my fingers into the mud, where a thousand seeds and pellets, kernels, grains, roots, and berries touched my fingers and hands, an underground world full of treasures that I could feel. I looked up at the sky, 
sunbeams fell through a giant strainer and blinded me. I thought I heard the beat of drums from far away, but that sound was my heart. I felt filled up with energy and began running fast, so fast I fell down the hill. And there at the bottom, everything was turned upside down. The whole world seemed brand new, as if it had been just created right in front of me. I climbed a tree and looked out as far as my eyes could see. I breathed in air until my lungs were bursting. I drank the raindrops like an animal would. I noticed bugs I'd never seen before. I talked to a bird. I made my biggest splash. Then I collected smooth stones as clear as glass and watched the world shining through them. Why hadn't I done these things before today? Soaked to my bones, I ran inside the house, took off my coat, and looked in the mirror. Oh, I thought I saw my dad smiling at me. My mother was still there, still riding, but now she looked different, like one of the creatures outside. Oh, you're soaked. I'll dry you. She took a towel and brought me to the kitchen. I felt like giving her a big hug. I wanted to tell her what I'd seen, felt, and tasted outside in the world. But I didn't. We just sat in the kitchen looked at each other and breathed in the delicious smell of our hot chocolate. That's it. That's all we did on this magical do-nothing day. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. Well, let's sing another song. I know another rain song. And this one's called The Ants Go Marching. And if you want, you can get up and stomp around. There's a part for that and it'll be a lot of fun. with me. I like that song a lot. It's always fun to sing. Well, let's read one more story. And this one's all about a group of kids who don't let the rain stop their play. It's called The Field. Words by Baptiste Paul. Pictures by Jacqueline Alcantara. Vini, come! The field calls. Ball. Ball. 
souliers, shoes, goal, goal. Shoe, ou ou ou, you you you, friends versus friends, anuale, let's go. I'm open, pass, shoot, oh, almost. This way, ici, pass, so close. Uh-oh, shutters bang, sun hides, clay dust stings, sky falls. Fini? Game over? No way! Play on! Dash, splash, slip side, belly flop. Time out! Shoes off, socks off, go! Run side to side, kick, jump, whoops! Oubie, you okay? Muy bien, I'm good. Rain stops, sun peaks, one last drive, dribble, twist, goal! High fives, fist bumps, happy tackles. Mama's call, Vini, come. We play on. Vini, abueza, come now. Game pauses, mamas press their lips. Soak shoes, dirty shirts, mud cake kids, torn up field. We hide our smiles, we slip into the tub. Bonsoir, good night. We dream about football. We dream about friends. Until the field calls again. Vini. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. Well, I hope you don't let the rain stop you from going outside. Well, we've come to the end of story time, so let's sing our farewell song. We wave goodbye like this. We wave.